Good morning, guys. Woo. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. For those of you that are new, I'm Lewis, and thank you for joining into my channel. Today is going to be part five of the IS250 rear diffuser on my LS400. But before we get into that, you may be wondering, whoa, hold on here. Your video and sound is much better. Well, that's because we're actually recording on an actual camera now, guys. How rad is that? So today is going to be my first video with it being recorded on a camera and then edited on a laptop. So what I'm going to need you guys to go ahead and do is comment down below. Let me know how it sounds. Let me know how it looks. If it looks exactly the same as all my other videos or if it actually seems a bit better. What I'm recording on is a Lumix CS35. Nothing top of the line, nothing top notch. However, it's a good starter camera for my first one. All right guys, we just got down to Shane's house. I don't have that long, so I'm gonna be primering my rear bumper today. That's what I'm gonna be doing. What's up y'all? It's cracking. What are you working on, anything? Shane might be doing nothing maybe those wheels maybe. probably not, probably not. All right. so let me go ahead and catch you guys up real quick on my rear bumper yesterday I went ahead and worked on it some more I went ahead and threw down some spot putty and sanded it primered it more spot putty so on and so forth um, so this is where we're at right now Alright, so today pretty much all we're going to be doing is we're going to throw down some primer and then wet sand that. That's going to be it for today, so let's get into it. Alright guys, so this is just, that orange tape is just on there temporarily um, just to get primer. I don't want to get any on my chrome trim because that's kind of what's been happening. So I'm going to go ahead and shake up the can and we're going to primer this. Alright guys, so this is just my first coat, just lightly touching it up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to let that dry. That's just a base coat. Um, after this I'm going to layer it down heavy and then eventually cover the entire thing. So it'll be good. Alright guys, the whole thing is covered right now. Check that out. Still needs work. Wet sand, all the body, the actual bumper part itself has to be, um, try to focus, there we go. 
There we go. Focus. All the body parts still has to be um, sanded down and stuff. But we're actually getting there. It's looking like something. guys looking pretty good I don't know how well you can really see it on camera but it's looking good let's get Shane's impression Still needs wet sanding and stuff, but. What things? I don't know yet. I don't know. It might, probably. <laughs> Still needs a lot, yeah. Good, cool. Dude. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. I think I'm gonna put down one more coat, which is actually what. Huh? I don't need any. At least not right now. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna put down one more coat. That's basically gonna be the last of the can. I'm gonna let that fully dry, and then we're gonna start wet sanding it. And then um, after that, that'll be part six. So for now, though, this is what we got, and I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. And also, if um, comment down below how this video is so far. Quality-wise, does it look better? Does it look like shit? Personally, to me, I think it looks really good because I've done a test video. But I wanted to see what you guys think. So, all right, we're going to let that dry and we'll get to it. Okay, guys. We just threw down the last thing of primer. This is how it looks. Take it in. <laughs> So, it's going to be wet sanded, guys. And also remember, like I said, this whole top portion still has to be sanded. Because if you were to look like right here, I don't know if you can see this line. Can you see that? That's because it goes like in. So this whole thing needs to be sanded still. So ignore that. Like you can even see right there as well. So, but for the most part... Looks really good. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've been sanding it with 2000 grit, thinking that might work. It's making the surface really smooth, but that's not what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to make the surface as level as I can. So I need something a little rougher. Um, so I can't really do anything more with that. Um, other than that, the next thing to do would be take my DA and do this whole top portion. Because if you look, let me try to focus. You can sort of see it. It's just, it's not perfect at all. Um, so that would be the next thing is to take my DA and start working the top, the top portion. Um, trying to find the light. Eh, that's good right there. To um, start sanding the top portion and then um, also primer that. So probably when we do that is when we'll come back and we'll start sanding um, the actual, you know, the diffuser. But at least it looks really good. So that's good. Um, so I'm not going to end this video right here because there's something I want to talk to you guys about. But I'm going to wait till I get home for that. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright guys, I'm back home now. And before I end this video, I wanted to kind of talk with you guys about an incident that has happened recently. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen it on Instagram. Maybe even were there. 
Uh, so real quick, let me show you the video. So I kind of wanted to just give my two cents a little bit about this. Um, first off, meats have cars, the car community in general has such a bad name for itself because of things like this that has happened. It's all the time, you know, and then people are going, they're vandalizing shopping centers, this and that, um, doing burnouts and donuts, which, you know, I know it's all fun and games, but there's a time and there's a place for that. And around 600 plus people that's not the place or the time to be doing it you know unless it's an enclosed safe area which it's not you know and then cops come and they vandalize the cops and just in general the car community has a very very horrible name for itself and now about this situation the reason why i one i'm so tired of seeing it because it, it seriously it pisses me off guys and the reason for it is because one car meets used to be about you know hey let's go out with our friends check out some really cool cars and hang out have fun meet new people talk to new people go home and that's it now it's about car meet okay cool let's you know let's get our cars ready to go do some burnouts and donuts and just stupid nonsense stuff and the thing about this that pisses me off is this guy he made a mistake you guys are going to these meets to watch these people do this stuff. You know they are not professionals. You're at your own risk. You're taking, you know, you're taking that risk of getting as close as you possibly can so you can see it. And then they mess up and they hit you. And now all of a sudden, you want to bash his car. That is not right. That is not okay. You make, you guys are all, honestly, you guys are posers. You guys are not true car enthusiasts. You guys can talk smack to me all you want. Comment down below. Agree, disagree. What well, it does, I don't care. You guys are not true car people. Car, uh, car people. All the true car guys are done with this. They don't even want to bring their cars out. They're scared to drive their cars because you people have ruined it for everybody else. You know, for all the guys who put this hard work into their car and then they want to take it out on Thursday night, Saturday night, whatever night, to show people their hard work, they can't do that anymore. Because people are ruining it by doing burnouts and donuts and then the cops come and then you're throwing shit at the cops and then you're pissed off that the cops now are cracking down and writing everybody tickets. You're pissed off now about that when you guys are the ones who created it. And I'm not personally calling out, you know, the people watching my video right now or my subscribers, any of you guys. I'm just talking directly to the people who know who they are. And it makes me mad, guys. It really does because... For us who really want to actually just go to a show and show off our hard work, you know, we put countless hours into a project and we want to go show people what we did and we can't. It's not about that anymore and it, it really sucks. Um, and what they did to that guy's car is not okay. You guys went there at your own risk and now because he hit you and made a mistake and hit you, you bash in his car and he even got beat up as well. That's not okay. I don't understand where, you know, like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I don't really have words to even put, like, I don't have, like, I'm speechless on that. And I'm so fed up at seeing it all over social media, you know, and then the news comes and the people are ratting everybody out. It's just like, oh my God. Like, yes, the people need to be put in their place, you know, and they need to, they need to be held responsible for what it is they've done. You know, like that one guy I see on Instagram, I don't know his name, but that Asian guy who who got ratted out for smashing out the window. Like, why? Why Why do you have to do that? And to be honest, I look at it like this. It's one of those things where, oh, this guy made a mistake. Somebody starts hitting his car. So everybody else is just like, oh, well, he's doing it. Hey, screw it. You know what? Let's go smash out this person's car because it gives us a chance to do it. It's one of those... You know, he said, she said, you know, he did it, so I'm going to do it, kind of a thing. Um, and I don't really have much words, and I'm not really good at um, explaining things, but I used, to, I used to go to these meets back in the day, you know, and it was so chill. Cops would actually come by and look at the cars with us. 
it is not like that no more and it sucks cause, and I really truly miss those times and believe me I'm doing donuts I do burnouts as well but I do it in an empty lot with nobody around maybe just my friend in the passenger seat and that's literally it I'm not driving in you know in the middle of 600 people trying to do donuts I'm not gonna take that chance one because I'm not that good at them too I'm not a professional anything can happen I don't want to, you know, put someone's life at risk, so I'm not going to do it. I do it where in a big empty lot where if I mess up, who's it going to harm? Nobody. So with that being all said, <clears throat> um, you know, comment down below your thoughts about that. You know, if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, like I said, I'm not, I'm not very good at explaining things. I'm just kind of just speaking off the top of my mind. But I want to get the car community a better, I want to give the car community a better name. And if there's something I can do to have that happen, I want to work for that. Because I want to be able to go to meets like we used to and enjoy the night and look at cool cars and get inspired by other people's builds and have that, you know, make and go home that night wanting to work on our cars some more to make it even better. You know, I, I don't go to meets anymore. I only stick to events for this reason. And it sucks because I miss going out at night, you know, with my girlfriend, with my friends, um, and just parking up together, rolling in deep, and, you know, just having a blast. I miss that. And I want to do whatever I can to give the car community a better name. Um, so I'm going to be talking to a few people, and maybe we can work, you know, this out. Maybe try to find anything we can do. But um, comment down below, guys, your thoughts, your feelings. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Whatever it is you want to say, good or bad, let's hear it. Um... So with all of that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys want to keep watching my diffuser build, um, part 6, part 7, part 8, however many parts there's going to be, comment down below let me know. I don't want to bore you guys with the same video all the time. So uh, I do have a couple of other videos I am going to be making um, aside from my diffuser. But if you guys want to keep on watching the diffuser build take off, comment down below let me know. Um, I, like I said, I don't want to bore you guys with the same thing, you know, every video. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys aren't already. And until next time, peace out.